Hello everybody and welcome to my info video. Today I will talk about a great big question. Why I will not replace my Mavic 1 for a Mavic 2 Pro or Zoom? But first in line, this is my personal opinion. Before you write something in the comments or a like or dislike the video, watch it. It's my opinion. Everybody can see it in another way. So let's start to answer the question. Um, it's very simple. Uh, the price don't justify the usage. Um, it would be another situation when I don't have a Mavic. And in this case, I would buy a brand new drone and uh, then I would buy the Mavic 2 Pro. No question, but let me, uh, let me explain. One important fact is that the Mavic 2 Pro and Zoom don't support 4K and 60 FPS. That would be a big advantage, uh, advantage against the Mavic 1 but uh, they only support 30 FPS, so I can stay at my Mavic 1. I was hyped about the fact that they support 60 FPS, but they don't, so why I should change? Sure, there is a little difference between uh, 60 Mbits and 100 Mbits in the bitrate, but not for YouTube. YouTube will use the codec, uh, codec uh, and so there is no usage between that bitrate. Another fact is the flight time. They improved it to 21 minutes, so 4 minutes more than the Mavic 1. That's not a big uh, difference for me. So I fly maybe around 20, 25 minutes with my Mavic 1, or around 20, then I, have, um, I am about 15% of uh, Akku. So I have to land it and start another flight, but 4 minutes more are not that huge. And the top speed, the Mavic 1 can fly 65 uh, km per hour, the Mavic 2 uh, 72 uh, km per hour. That's more, but not that more. And uh, you know, when you film something, you don't film in sport mode. You want to capture the uh, landscape, you want to capture the point of interest and don't race between don't know, trees. It's not a racing drone. Another fact is the weight. The Mavic 2 is slightly heavier, uh, not much around 130 or 150 gram, but when you drive with your bike or carry your Mavic on your back, these 150 grams or 130 um, are a little different. Um, now the important point, the distance. The Mavic 1 can fly up to seven kilometers far from you. The Mavic 2 up to Eight. Right. Did I say important? No, not for me. Not in Germany. In Germany, we only may fly as long we can see the drone. And we have to control the drone with our eyes. I hope I can uh, say it right. Um, it's not allowed to fly the drone in FPV or with your remote or the um, screen on your telephone. You have to control it or you have to keep it in control without any um, um, support of technicals like smartphones or glasses or something else. I tested it. More than 300 or 400, uh, 400 meters are not possible. So I don't need seven or eight kilometers. Even the max altitude. In Germany, we only may fly up to 100 meters altitude. More is illegal and it's a question of safety for the planes and other aircrafts in the air. Don't misunderstand me, the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom is an awesome drone. They have a lot of features I like. To example, the uh, 20 megapixels camera of the Mavic 2 Pro. But um, it's not that big adventure. Okay, we have a phantom camera in a Mavic drone. That's awesome. But when you look at the Mavic 2 Zoom, we only have two megapixels like the Mavic 1. Yeah, of course, we have the zoom ability. We can zoom up to one, up to 15 millimeters, I guess. But to be honest, I never missed that feature. So I don't need it too. And so when I need to buy a new one, I would decide for the Mavic 2 Pro and not for the zoom. So it's not that big uh, argument for me. And to be honest, the photos of the one are awesome. So 12 megapixels are way more than enough 
for sure more is more and more is better but 4000 by 3000 pixels are very awesome and uh, when you follow me on instagram you know what i mean another important point is the resolution of the video um, did you uh, already know that the mavic one runs in that case the mavic one support cinema 4k that's 4096 um, square uh, pixels by 2160 in 24 fps the mavic 2 can only handle normal 4k 3840 and 2180 uh, 160 sorry in 30 fps like the mavic run 2 so the big advantage are just the bit rate from 60 to 100 bit mm mm bits but you already know my opinion about it another um, big advantage are the leds for landing yeah there are a lot of features and i love the mavic 2 and i love the idea of the leds for landing but to be honest it's useless in germany so we don't may fly at night um okay we can uh, order extra permission to fly at night but it's very complicated and uh, we don't need that and so we only fly at daytime and i don't need these LEDs. so they are awesome one question but i don't need it another big advantage are the sensors of the mavic 2 the mavic 1 can only see in front and below her the Mavic 2 has sensors all around the drone, so it's really safety to fly, and that is a big advantage for me. So, in my opinion, that is a very important point for the Mavic 2. But overall, I don't see a reason why I should upgrade to Mavic 2 Pro only when I don't have a drone. But I already told you that is my opinion, and um, no. I want to know what's yours so tell me in the comments would you replace your mavic run to mavic 2 or replace maybe your phantom because the mavic 2 pro has an already 20 meter pixel camera and can replace the phantom models because of the uh, of the uh, ability <laughs> for transport uh, sorry i'm very very nervous to talk in english to you because i already told you i'm a german guy and uh yeah it's not my native language i hope <laughs> i don't have a lot of mistakes in it so back to the uh, topic so i want to know what's your opinion tell, you, tell me in your comments Write me your opinion. What's your favorite drone? Will you stay at the Mavic 1 2? Do you have a Mavic 1? Or do you already order the Mavic 2 Pro or Zoom to replace it? Or buy it for a brand new one and don't have a drone before? Uh, feel free to share my video and let me know your, your, your opinion in the comments. So, see you. Bye bye.